Hello. Whoops. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is June 19th of 2018, and it's almost noon. This is going to be short, I promise. Um, wanted to tell you, I had something happen the other day. Perhaps some of you have an idea, perhaps there's a name for it. Uh, or if you have any suggestions. Uh, about, I'm not sure how long, uh, maybe two weeks, maybe longer. I've been getting, oh, you have to understand that uh, very rare for, I have a cell phone. Well, I have, you know, a landline voice over IP, but I just don't use my phone. I mean, it's just my cell phone. I, uh, you know, I use it to check the weather, you know, weather app or uh, something like that. But so far as making phone calls, I've never been somebody who was into making phone calls. I'm even less so now. Uh, I just don't get phone calls, and I just very rarely make phone calls. But for the last week or well, longer than that, I've been getting about four calls a day coming in from different numbers, always with the same area code, my area code. Uh, when the phone rings, I think, oh, okay, it's my uh, daughter who lives in the same apartment complex that we do and wanting to know if we need something from, you know, very, and she doesn't call that often, but that's about the only phone call I get. Uh, so anyway, the phone rings, I answer it, there's silence, and then it disconnects. Uh, and then I, you know, I figured out, well, it's, it's not my, not my daughter. The, like I said, the number is unknown to me, but always with the same, with my area code. And, uh, I blocked a few times the, uh, the number, but the number that they, that they call with or the machine the code or the machine or whatever is being used to do this, it's always a different number. Although they have, like, one day I blocked it, and they called the same day with a different, you know, it was like last two digits were zero one, one the next call was like zero two. 2 uh, So I've been, oh, let me get this tracking off of here. So, uh, whoa, that changed, didn't it? Going to, oh, because I went to the windows, or to the um, video. Must have that, I need to go and set the, I guess the, uh, not sure what I have the video. Well, let's find out. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, well, let's. We want to go to that. Anyway, um, let's come down a little bit. My head does not. I don't have a. I don't have anything that looks good. On. I'm not phonogenic, phonogenic, uh, photogenic, in any uh, regard. I don't have much light on in here. Just uh, what's? Oh, there is a little lamp over there. Uh, so the, uh, the number is always different. Uh, anyway, I put in my cell phone. I guess what I'm going to have to put in here is, and I'll have to find the setting. It's not with a regular setting. I have to find the setting to reject all calls <coughs> that are not in my, uh, you know, users list or whatever. Although I hate to do that, I don't have, I think, all my doctor's phone numbers, and you know, so anyway, pain in the ass. Oh, okay, but this is not, you've all had the same problem. I bet all of you, just about all of you have had this. 
Same type of problems. Unsolicited calls. You pick it up, nobody's there. This is the new thing. Yesterday, the phone rings. It's another 817 uh, area code number. Uh, my area code. I don't recognize the number. I answer, not, and I'm expecting you know a little delay and then hang up. I answer, say hello, and then a, a female sounds like a sounded like a black female. And uh, she said, uh, "Who is this?" And I said, uh, "This is Jim. Who's calling?" And she said, "Your phone has been calling my phone every day. Calls every day." And I said. Uh, no, I don't make any phone calls at all. I, I just don't call out. Yes, you do. You're calling every day. I'm tired of it. Stop calling me. And I said, um, I said, I think we're the subject of some type of a computer attack or something. No, you are calling me, and you're, you're calling me at work, and I'm at work, and don't you call me again, and hung up because I was going to try to, you know, so uh, so now I'm asking you if you're if somebody who happens to know about this or done research on it or something. These phone calls that come in, some of them, I've, we, I guess we know some of them are wanting to find out if your phone number is a good phone number so they can add you to some type of a list to call, maybe for direct sales or I don't know, whatever. I don't know whatever those would be, but I wonder if there is... Uh, if they're calling my number or other people's number, they're calling my number, you know, automated. And when I answer, I thought maybe somehow they get the number, then somehow they can use the number to uh, call some 900, is it 900 numbers that charge you? Uh, call and have it charged my bill nothing ever showed up on my bill so I just wondered what it was now I'm wondering if they call numbers and it could be your number in this case my number if they're calling the number and then they capture the phone number and they know it's a work you know the one that's a working phone number and then they're using that with their calling out machine or computer or however it's working to call other numbers for some reason, maybe the same reason, and when that person sees it, they're going to see, you know, my number. And it's going to be in the same area code, so they're going to think it's family or friend or something. So anyway, that's a question. Uh, do you have any idea what's, uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure not calling, you know, anybody. I don't call anybody. I sure wouldn't call some person every day. I uh, actually to show you how I am. I went to my doctor for my yearly exam, or actually it should be a little more often, and he said I need to have my eyes checked again. I had him checked two or three years ago. And they made an appointment for a year later, and I called in and canceled it. Anyway, I went to my doctor. He says, oh, you need your eyes examined and whatever. And he says, I'll cut a uh, referral out and have, uh, you know, have it set up or whatever. So for the last, uh, actually, of course, it's not using my cell phone number. It's using my voice over IP number, which I don't even think I have the ringer on. Uh They've been calling me, and I get it in my, because uh, I'm using uh, G, not Gmail, G, Google phone number. So the eye doctor's office has been calling about twice a week or maybe more often, and i uh, saying, you know, hey, uh, you need to call us and uh, set a date for your eye exam, and I haven't even called them. I... <laughs> I just don't use my phone. End of subject on that. Um,
my daughter, who now lives in the same uh, apartment complex that we live in, uh, took me yesterday to uh, the Windstar Casino and uh, we did a little gambling. I took $80 to gamble with and um, maybe I'll show you a little about this place. It's, uh, it's really large, really nice too. Um, tables, uh, duh, duh, duh. yeah. Not going to spend time. They're not paying me to advertise them anyway, right? Uh, um, can download a map. Well, maybe the map would give you an idea. Do we want to download it or just going to do it with GPS or, or GPS? Uh, oh, okay. Well, this give you a little bit. This is the casino. May give you a little idea of how we ate at the. Oh, it's not. They don't have their eating places on there. We ate at the New York restaurant, <coughs> where they had. I guess, the type of hamburgers and pizzas and uh, hot dogs and things that you have in New York City. It was very one of the best hamburgers I've ever had. Their fries were, fries were very good also. Anyway, I took eighty dollars and. Uh, Actually, there's two casinos right next to each other. This is the one. This is the one casino. Right next to it is a, a smaller casino. I went there and I spent eighty dollars. Um, then we went over next door to the other casino. We could have walked, but we drove over there, and uh, we ate at that restaurant in there. And then uh, my daughter gave me eighty dollars to gamble with. Uh, <coughs> immediately we went to the video poker and uh, I won $120 just playing video poker and I, I put that in my pocket and uh, then I lost the, the rest of the money but I left with $120 in my pocket actually my daughter's money really you know but um Oh, I almost won $3,300 at that casino. I sat down at sort of one of the, one of the there are machines, of course, and I guess all of the casinos out there, and they have fantastic machines, you know, uh, graphics and sound and all that type of stuff. But I sat down at just one of the common machines and didn't pay too much attention to it. It was, it was a dollar machine. A ton of their machines are penny machines, but um, the minimum, I think, on maybe all of them is the minimum you can bet is 60 pennies or 50 pennies, uh, which is more than paying a quarter machine, you know. But uh, this machine was a dollar machine, and I put in a dollar, or I put the money, in the 20 in the slot, and... Uh, you know, it does its thing. I bet again, does its thing, does its thing. Then I did it again, so. And pops up across the screen, sort of across the top of the screen. I think you know where this is going, right? These three things, which I can tell, I can't tell you now what they were, but I don't even remember, you know. Uh, and I thought, well, that looks like that ought to be something. I looked up. And if you get three of those in a row, that's three thousand and three hundred dollars. And I'm like, where's the, where's the lights? Where's the sirens? Where's my, where's my money? I knew something, you know. And so then I looked and looked, and then I realized, the, uh, you have to bet three dollars. Across the top, across the middle, and across the bottom, one dollar each. And maybe you could have gone up and it would have gone diagonally or two. I don't know. But if I had done $3, I would have won $3,300. My uh, daughter and I, though, we were wondering whether the machine you know, is set up so 
to know that you, if you put in three, then it's not going to give you the the chance of that popping up as much. But it knows in the coding, you know, that, hey, you only bet $1. And so you, no way would you qualify for this. So it makes that, I don't know, you know. But probably doesn't matter because I have a lottery ticket tonight for the drawing for $175 million. I shouldn't be making a video here. I should be making a list of all the things I'm going to buy when I win the $175 million tonight. Um, moving on to a new subject. Um, Let's see that. <clears throat> I've got quite a few medical conditions. Um, and one, pro I, one of the problems that I have is that if I bend over and try to put socks on or bend over and try to wash my feet or bend over and do anything, just pulling pants on, my blood pressure shoots up to way over like 200. Uh, plus, I've got arthritis so bad in my neck and my shoulders and my arms and my back. I just don't I try not to bend over. So <clears throat> I purchased in the past a, a brush to try to reach my feet better, and it was about so long wooden handle and the brush on the on the end was really uh, rough maybe I should say coarse or something like I don't know if you <coughs> something you might use to scrub potatoes or the floor or something rather so <coughs> I got rid of it but sat for a long time unused, and I got rid of you know. So I purchased this. I got it yesterday, I think it was, or the day before. I also have diabetes. Um, this, of course, says on it, safe for diabetics. <laughs> There's so many people that have diabetes in the United States because of our drinking of colas and eating of too much food and the foods and everything. Um, so this is it. You know, it comes in, you assemble it. Well, it makes it easier for shipping. But the, uh, I've used it once. The bristles are much better. They work much better. It has a p pumice stone on it. Is it I never can remember. I'm getting that wrong. Pumice, I guess. I think on a lot of things, these things come off almost right away. You know, they're glued in there or something. <laughs> they come off. And they're pretty rough, too. And if you have diabetes, you really need, you don't want to, well, my legs are not getting the circulation they should. And, uh, uh you're never going to see. I make videos about just about everything, don't I? And I tell you a lot of personal stuff, don't I? And uh, the one thing you're never going to see is my feet, especially my left foot, which looks gross. And my I don't even want my doctor to see my legs um, because they're not getting circulation the way they should. But anyway, I used this and made a start on my problem. So it's going to except I'm having trouble reaching the left, even with this, left leg, left side. And I'll have to, I just have to work on it, not getting it. You know, it's easier to get it for some reason the other. Arthritis might have something to do with it. I instinctively know going certain ways that's going to hurt. Um, so... That's information you probably didn't need to know, did you? Um,
So the other thing, there was one more thing. Oh, let me see if I can find the photo. Here it is. Um, oh, we've been losing internet. Uh, we use Spectrum now. Charter was Charter now. It's Spectrum, and I'd say ten or fifteen times a day we have been losing the internet uh, for a minute, two minutes, maybe three minutes. Then it comes back, and uh, I tried calling the automated system and. I think I even got the tech. Yeah, I think Tommy got the tech. The, well, there's an outage in your area. And I said, well, when did this, this has been going, my problem been going on for a week or more. How long has the outage been in this area? And uh, he said, well, I, my computer doesn't show me when it starts. I only get the information when it's completed. Then it tells me how long, when it started. And, how, and I said, okay, so. So uh, I decided, and yesterday I accomplished it. Well, my grown son that lives with us, he moved all the stuff off this shelf so that I could, so he did that while I was at the casino. So this morning I moved in the uh, modem, the uh, modem from Spectrum. And uh, <coughs> moved it in here. It, well, moved it into the living room. I'm in the master bedroom. So I'm actually now going to be, because we're doing away with the uh, cable. It can be Wi-Fi. Uh, well, everybody else was Wi-Fi. And I had the uh, Ethernet cable hooked direct to the router. But uh, so anyway, I moved the uh, cable modem in there. It's our own cable modem, you know, that we purchased, so we didn't have to pay rent. Moved the router in there. Uh, this is a small UPS thing that we have that uh, we plug the cable modem in and the router in. And there's one other plug. Sort of a problem. They're not the... Uh, three-pronged that limits what I could plug into the but um, this is the uh, voice over IP up here and we have two phone lines uh, one is for my room which I never use and then my ex-wife uh, has voice over IP so of course when we lose internet you know we lose except for my cell phone uh, if we lose internet, we also lose uh, the internet, and of course the Roku TV uses Wi-Fi, so we lose that. You know that part of the we can still do over the air, but uh, but so this is voice over IP, and this is the uh, one for my my phone is in there, so. Everything's moved in here now, and I did that early this morning. So far, we have not lost the Internet connection. I hate to say that, but, of course, because I was using the Ethernet cable direct, I was getting 60 down and 5 up, and on Wi-Fi, we get, you know, 30 down and 5 up, so now I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'm getting you know, 30 down and 5 up. Uh, but the problem may have been solved. Uh, we had, this was all was all in my room. And we had a long cable, cable TV type of cable, running from the wall here. And actually, we was the cable person, they're not supposed to run very far with their cable. And... Uh, the cable person was nice enough to actually run all the way from one end of the apartment 
to my room. That's where I had everything. So what I've done is I've eliminated that cable, thinking maybe that was a problem. And if it's, I hope it's taken care of. If it's not taken care of, then it's going to be maybe the modem. I don't think the router. Maybe the modem or the wire out in the box, <coughs> which I can understand. This is an apartment complex. Each building of five or six apartments has a spectrum box there. And <coughs> people move in and out of here quite often. And uh, although it's a nice place, actually. Um, but people move out quite often. So the cable guys are getting in that box quite often to hook somebody up for TV or for Internet or something. And I could see that... Uh, somehow messing around and pulling the cables and trying to get to the one they have to screw into or whatever. They may have a problem in the box, but as of right now, this is, it looks like eliminating that long run of uh, cable. Outbrain, I have no idea how that advertising, is that showing up because of, I bet it is this app for this photo. Let's see. So I think that's it. I, I'm not even going to go into the news, except I'm like, I can't say everybody else, but I am appalled sickened, revolted, uh, just so sad and so ashamed that the United States of America, that our president and his minion are separating these children from their, from their parents. It's uh, just horrendous. Uh, unspeakable. It's just bad. Uh, anyway, I do thank you for watching, and I'm going to upload this, and I hope that everything is okay. With my internet problems that we were having, it takes me, for a lot of these videos that I've done, it takes me like two hours to upload. And I don't think I have had yet been lucky, but I definitely do not want to be uploading a two-hour video and have uh, an hour and a half of it uploaded and then have then lose the internet. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Better catch my next video and see if I have won $175 million. If so, I would probably be doing my uh, next video from a tropical island with, uh, instead of a glass of Coke Zero, I would have a, a drink with a little umbrella coming out of it and maybe, I don't know, a piece of fruit floating in it or something. I don't know. I'm not a drinker, by the way, of alcohol at all. Zero, never have been. So... But I might become one if I was a $175 million winner. Thank you very much for watching.